Hello, and welcome to A VO's Journey. My name is Anthony Pika, and this show is all about helping the new and upcoming voiceover artists grow their business and sidestep all of the crazy things that I seem to step on. I've got a great show for you today. We're going to dive into how to get rid of some mouth noise in your DAW, uh, in this particular time, we're going to be using Adobe Audition. And I'm going to give you three different ways that you can get rid of those pesky mouth clicks that we always deal with. Okay? All right. So let's dive into this. I'm going to move over to my editing screen. And as you can see here, I've got some, uh, I've got some a file up, a recording that has <laughs> uh, some, uh, some clicks in it. So let's go ahead and take a listen here. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you how I recently uncovered an ancient Greek remedy. All right, so you could tell here, right, especially in this area. In the next few minutes, we've got some definitely big clicks. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm in Adobe Audition is I like to come up here to the corner where it says Show Spectral Frequency Display, and I like to click on that. And that brings up this kind of heat map underneath. And what this does is it kind of gives you a visual representation of what frequencies um, are, you know, what are the loudest parts in those frequencies at any given time, okay? So the brighter it is, the louder it is, okay? Uh, and the uh, less bright, the less loud, okay? However, it also does some other things. So let's go ahead and highlight a place. In the next few minutes. All right, so this place right here, we've identified there's some clicks. All right, and the wonderful thing about spectral analysis is that it shows us where there is some problems in the audio. So a lot of times it's hard to identify where exactly the clicks are in order to get rid of them. All right, well, I'm going to show you the first method is how to get rid of clicks manually. Okay, mouth noise, mouth clicks, that kind of stuff, okay? So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure uh, that you come up here with your mouse, and you can see I've selected the Marquee Selection Tool. This allows me to come down here, and this allows me to make any type of rectangular shape. Okay, and when I let go of the mouse, it holds that shape. Okay, we are also going to use, uh, in the effects, we're going to use something that's called the auto heal selection. The reason why it's grayed out here is because I don't have anything selected. All right, but if I was to do this and then I come up here to effects, you can see that the auto heal selection is highlight. It's, it's available to be used. And what this does is it takes using the AI built into Adobe Audition, it takes all, uh, it takes an account to everything around the problematic um, mouth noise or click or artifact, whatever you're trying to get rid of here. We're trying to heal this section and it uses all of the surrounding um, uh, uh, file, if you will, to repair the audio, but not delete the actual audio, just the artifact or the mouth click. It's really amazing, um, it's really amazing AI, and it works by far the best out of anything that I've ever seen. So, with that being said, what we wanna do is come in here and identify where the clicks are. So let's go ahead, we're gonna raise the volume here just so that we can hear it better. In the next Okay, so clearly, you can see here that there is a click in here, and if you come down here, we can see that there is an odd, right, just shaped out of the, you know, like, uh, does not look like it belongs there, this line, all right? And if I play this back, that's our click. Now, in order to get rid of it manually, all I have to do is come in here, highlight it, just like this, let go, and I'm gonna go ahead and go up to my auto selects heel, and I'm gonna click on that, and look at that. It's done away with it, but you notice that it's not done away with all of the frequencies and volume around it. So that means when I go to listen to it, it's gone. You don't hear it anymore, right? That's really a powerful way, and by far the, the way that is the end all get off you will right the end all be all this is the way that you get rid of clicks manually and it's by far the best way to do it manually okay now let's go ahead and tackle another one if we come over here in the next 
All right, because you can tell there's a click right here. All right, and there's a mouth noise right here. And as you see down here, you've got this huge line. Okay, so we know that that's a click. So we're gonna come down here and highlight that. All right, and I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna go ahead to my auto heal selection. I'm gonna click that and look at that. Bam, it does away with it. The next. All right, you can tell right there, next. it's gone. The click is gone. Because if we go back, you can hear it, but after I heal it, it's gone. So that's how you can get rid of clicks manually. And what's interesting about the uh, spectral uh, analysis here is that you can start to see clicks, right? Like you can see that this is, uh, you know, an artifact or something that's out of the ordinary here. All right, this is well too. This is here too. Now I find that it's better to listen to the piece and use this and not try to just use this and not listen because sometimes you know you could you could go through here and just be like oh my gosh they're everywhere what do i do so it's good to listen as well as use this when you're trying to identify how to get rid of clicks okay so that's the first way to get rid of clicks um okay uh, the next way we're going to go over is uh, a way in Adobe Audition to actually get rid of clicks using a uh, plugin that Adobe Audition actually includes. Okay, so what I want you to do is you're going to come up here to Window, and you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on Diagnostics. This is going to add this little panel here, all right, this little window to your panels, and this gives you a bunch of, it gives you a declicker, a declipper, all right, delete silence, mark audio, but we're gonna be on the declicker. Now what this does, all right, is we're gonna highlight the whole piece. This allows me to do three settings, light reduction, medium reduction, or heavy reduction. And you can also use the threshold here and the complexity, which just gives it more, uh, like it, it searches more for those artifacts. And what you can do is once you pick one, I'm gonna do medium reduction. I'm gonna hit scan, all right, it scans the whole piece and when the scan happened here, if you look down, these are all of the mouth clicks or the artifacts or whatever that it has identified in the piece that it would need to get rid of, okay? So then what I do is I just hit repair all, all right? And it's repaired all of those, okay? Didn't repair this one, didn't repair that one. So what I wanna do is scan it again, all right? If you notice, it only came up with one this time. So I'm gonna go ahead and repair that. And now, as we listen, remember what I was saying before, this works pretty well, but if you have some major clicks, you're probably going to have to get rid of them manually. But let's hear. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you how I recently uncovered an ancient Greek rem. So actually, the first part here, it didn't do a good job of getting rid of these ones that we had to get rid of manually, all right? Although it did okay with this one, but it didn't do this one. But the rest of the piece, it did really well of getting rid of them. You can go up to a heavy heavier reduction, all right? You can see uh, how it goes, or you can go to a lighter, a light reduction, and you can mess around with these as well, all right? But this is another way to remove clicks. All right, now I'm gonna show you the last method today. This is my most favorite method, and this does uh, involve a uh, plugin. So if you use Isotope RX7, it's funny, I talked about um, plugins yesterday, uh, and I don't, I'm not like, getting paid for <laughs> recommending isotope or anything i just really love the plugins so uh but i'm using isotope uh, rx7 all right so you know i have it uh in my effects chain or down here in my effects and i come down here and i'm going to use mouth declick this is important don't use the declick okay you want to use the mouth declick Okay, the declick is more set up for, yeah, it gets rid of some clicks, but it's also going to get rid of, like, uh, clicks if you were doing a vinyl or something like that. But the mouth declick was specifically set up for mouth noise. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to bring up this window. Now, these are the settings I specifically use. People might use different ones, but this is all I have need to use, right? So I just set my sensitivity to 5.4, and I'm going to hit uh, Apply. Now, when I hit apply, if I go and listen back over this. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you how I recently uncovered an ancient Greek remedy. It, it did away with everything. Completely on its own. I didn't have to do anything. If we look down here, look. Look, remember those two big ones right there? Got rid of them. 
Okay, got rid of the littler ones. In the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you how I recently uncovered an ancient Greek rem. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It is by far the easiest and fastest way to get rid of mouth clicks, and it doesn't degrade your audio. It's really quite spectacular. The downside, because there's always a downside, right? The downside to it is that it comes in the standard version, and it's quite pricey. Normally, it's priced at like $399. Now, when you do that, you get all those extra things, okay? Like I, I was showing you here, you get all of this stuff here, but you know, uh, you get a declip, you get the um, declip, uh, decrackle. The declip works pretty good if you clip uh, the DS. The de-hum, de-plosive, that's really nice. If you've got a plosive problem, this really helps a lot. De-reverb, which is really nice. Um, the spectral denoise or the voice denoise, that's uh, getting rid of background noise. And it has an adaptive mode. So, adapt so this is really nice, but it's pricey. So anyways, I wanted to show you three different methods. Uh, let's see if I can click back over. Three different methods of how to get rid of mouth noise in your audio for Adobe Audition. You know, the first two we went over, one was manual, one was automatic, okay? But those were both included with Adobe Audition. And then I showed you one was a plugin from Isotope uh, RX7 standard. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click the like, subscribe button below, and I will see you in the next video. All right, peace.